All right, ladies and gentlemen, in our video today, we are going to open up our discussion of cones. The whole unit will focus on surface area and volume of cones. But for today, we are going to just simply define the formulas for surface area and find the surface area of a particular cone. That's not circle, cone, not a circle. Um, and we'll typo in there. So let's take a look here at our surface area. Well, what do we know about surface area so far? Surface area, just simply put, is all of the area covered around a particular solid object, right? All the area covered around the solid object. So what I want you to do is I want you to think of a cone and imagine if you, you, you made a cone out of a piece of paper, right? You made a cone out of a piece of paper and then you just cut it right through there and you opened it on up it would kind of have this Pac-Man shaped look to it. And then of course, if you were to have a full solid cone, you've got your circular base down here that would kind of attach down to the bottom of it. But what ends up happening is that what you ended up cutting, that where you took your scissors and cut that cone, that is called the slant height. That is called the slant height of where you kind of took your scissors and cut the entire um, area of it. But what happens when you unravel the cone? Well, you end up creating basically a circular figure, right? You end up creating a circular figure of whatever the radius may be. And you notice this is not a new formula for us. This is 2 pi r. This is 2 pi r. This is our circumference because it is circular for it. So the lateral surface of a cone, just specifically speaking, consists of all of the segments that connect the vertex with points on the edge of its base, right? So if you just drew a line down to every single part of this base of the circle. All right, so what's the formula for surface area? Well, if you think about it, now it's everything covered on the base, the circle, plus everything on its lateral surface of that Pac-Man looking figure that you can kind of see. So it's the area circle pi r squared times pi r times the slant height of it. So let's go back here. So we've got our pi r times the slant height. Well, the slant height is that kind of, uh, that, that, the, the cut, right? The cut when you opened on up your cone. So let's take a look here. So we know our surface area, our surface area is equal to pi r squared for the circular base plus pi r times the slant height, pi r times the slant height. So in this case, the surface area will be pi times four squared times plus pi times still four times our slant height of six. So it will end up giving us 16 pi plus 24 pi and 16 plus 24 is 40 pi and it is back to inches squared. And I'm gonna leave it in pi because pi is exact right now. Right? So we're gonna leave it in pi for right now.